Hi, Nikki Case here. This week, um, not much because I was sick. Uh, and yes, I just spent pretty much this week, you know, recovering, lying down, getting lots of rest, drink, drinking chicken soup, playing desert golfing. But um, yeah, I think I'm better now. Now, <coughs> you know, what? never mind. Okay, so this week, uh, I finally got back to work and nothing to hide after you know two weeks of Parable of the Polygons, which. Uh, the reception to that has been absolutely amazing. I've just been like blown away and like so grateful. Um, <coughs> cut. Anyway, so this week a new game mechanic added to Nothing to Hide. It's been a really long time since I've added uh, you know an actual new thing to Nothing to Hide rather than just uh, refactoring the old engine. But here it is, the rover. Yes, the red rover. It, yeah, just ignore all the placeholder we are and also ignore the blood. That's just there because. Merry Christmas! Anyway, so yeah, so the really exciting thing about this whoops, uh, Red Rover mechanic is that it interacts with every other mechanic that was already in Nothing to Hide. Like, every single one. So that, like, just introduces a lot more puzzle complexity that, that, I, can, I, I, da, 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 that I can add to it. For starters, alright, point number one. The Red Rover is affected by these conveyor belts, right here, see? It's affected just like, you know, just like Poppy is, just like these monolith IIs are. It's affected by the monolith. So number one, affected, no, affected by the conveyor belts. Number one, affected by the conveyor belts. Number two, uh, it can transport me. Uh, number three, it can transport these monoliths. Ah, there we go. And number four, its own movement, the Red Rover's movement, is also affected by things that I drop into its path. Uh, it doesn't affect Poppy. I'm just gonna like, you know, have an animation of her like tripping or falling onto the Red Rover. You know, just, you know, for, you know, simplicity's sake. So yeah, I, so that means you can affect the Red Rover's movement uh, with the monoliths, with the conveyor belts, and everything. And number five, the Red Rover uh, is not here, but the just like the conveyor belts can be affected by um, these like power signal sending IIs, uh, so will some Red Rovers as well. Yeah, and, and it won't actually be red, it'll just be, you know, I'll figure out a color later. But yeah, so number one, affected by conveyor belts. Number two, it can transport me. Number three, it can transport these IIs. Number four, its movements can be also affected by uh, these IIs. And number five, it can also interact with uh, the power uh, signal sending IIs as well, same with the conveyor belts. So that is gonna add a lot more puzzle complexity, and as a result, I'll be able to get like a good, like, I don't know, 10 levels out of just like this one new mechanic. So yeah, that'll be really, really, really exciting. Anyway, that's it for this week. Uh, yeah, nothing has going along great. Uh, Poppy's, Poppy's getting all festive and stuff. I still need to buy Christmas presents. So yeah, so that's all for this week. Zeros and ones, Nikki. <laughs> Ha 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 ha